Good morning, my friends. Today is Tuesday, May 14th. It is the feast day of St. Matthias, the uh, apostle who replaced Judas. A reminder that this Wednesday, uh, May 15th, is our Behold Candlelight Adoration, 7.30, followed by an ice cream social here at St. Isaac's. So let's read from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, uh, how Matthias was chosen to replace Judas. So interestingly, Peter stands up in the midst of his of his, the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120. So, you know, sometimes people wonder, was Peter really the first pope? Was he the leader of the church? And repeatedly we see that he was the one that was the spokesperson. He was the one that would get up and speak on behalf of the 12. He said, my brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled. So always going back to scripture, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas. And what did the, what did the scripture say? It said, let his encampment, speaking of the one who would betray Jesus, become desolate and may no one dwell in it and may another take his office. So instead of just going forward with 11 apostles, you know, the 12 was the perfect number. It was the number of the, uh, the um, sons of Jacob, the tribes of Jacob. And so 12 represented the whole, the whole world. And so these 12 were sent out to the whole world to bring disciples into the fold. And so it says, therefore, it was necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time, the Lord Jesus came and went among us. And this, this is the criteria they're asking for. So someone who was with them the whole time from the baptism of John until his ascension. Uh, they needed to be a witness to his resurrection. And so they had two uh, that they proposed in, in this place. One was uh, Joseph called Barsabbas and the other was Matthias. And of course, we know who's going to get the uh, straw because today is Matthias's day. So they prayed, another important thing when it comes to discernment. I was talking to a friend the other day, you know, and he said, I realized that I never made decisions through prayer. I would just, you know, look at my options, make a decision and go forward. And I never included God in those decisions. And he said, now it seems obvious, but any big decisions, we should be including, you know, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit in those decisions. And, you know, people say, how do I know? You know, we don't hear God's voice, um, but God speaks to us through other people. There are other, other ways. You look for the fruits of the Holy Spirit, peace, joy, love, and so on. Um, sometimes it's a matter of, you know, praying, trying something, and then you realize, okay, that wasn't the right path, and then taking, uh, taking another turn. So they prayed, and they said, you, Lord, know the hearts of all. Show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in the apostolic ministry, from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. And so they handed out lots to Joseph, Barsabbas, and Matthias, and uh, the lot fell to Matthias, and he was counted with the 11 apostles. And so uh, another good story that this makes me uh, think of is there's a school, that a Catholic school that has, you know, some places where they have saints and they left two of those niches uh, open and they said these two are being held for the two saints that are going to come from this school i think wow that is a, a great idea you know i was thinking about for our own school here at saint isaac's to get the kids thinking about saints are not just you know some unearth unearthly creation from somewhere else but they're Men and women like you and me who, you know, through virtuous and, and holy lives, uh, they're recognized, uh, you know, by the church of their sanctity. So Matthias was brought into that group of 12 and you and I are called to be saints. You and I are called to be holy. And he wants to, you know, put us in all of us, you know, kind of following the path of these apostles into the world. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for St. Matthias, uh, who after being chosen to be one of the 12, gave his life for Jesus. Help us to know that we're, we too are called to be holy. We're called to spread the good news of your son, Jesus. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. To into your families, Buen Camino. Know that I'm praying for you. Please pray for me, and God bless you.